Welcome back, everybody, to Top Tier Studios. This is episode 25, and we are in the last section of the park. This is going to be the last themed zone, and after this, we are going to be done with this park. So I'm anticipating this is going to last about the course of this episode and next episode, and then afterwards, we are going to head to our live stream finale, however we're going to do that, and then um, we're going to say goodbye to this park and probably start on our next part sometime in the near future afterwards. So um, really exciting news to get um, this far close to completion. I'm really excited to get this park over with, really just because it's been almost a year, I want to say, I've been working on this park. Um, I was uploading pretty consistently in the beginning, but it has started to kind of fall off near the end, and that's just really because I've gotten a really busy, um, so it's kind of been harder to do all of this Planet Coaster stuff. So, in this episode, we are starting the last um, themed area, as I said, and this themed area is going to be more of an exploration type vibe. I'm um, thinking more jungle type um, theming and like a mountainous range and jungles and stuff like that. So, this is going to be um, the last coaster that we're going to build, and this actually went through a lot of different iterations. So, um, originally, this area was going to be home to a wooden roller coaster and um, one flat ride which was going to be a Larson loop. And then um, the, the theme I was going to go for was like a volcano type exploration feel, but that didn't really work out. Um, I tried it. I did re record it. It didn't make it in because this video would be two times as long because um, I, I just dele deleted everything, started over because the, the volcano just didn't look right. And then like looking at it from the, the different areas of the park, it just it, it really wasn't fitting in how I wanted it to fit. So instead, we are doing a different type of thing, and I'm actually, well, it's going to be a mountain range type thing still, like a big mountain, but it's not going to be a volcano. And um, this actually, I, I actually kind of changed the theme of it as well. Instead of kind of doing an exploration of a volcano, it is going to be more of a search party for a crashed plane. So we're going to be using that plane theming that came in the adventure pack and um, kind of moving in that way. And we're actually using the coaster that came with the adventure pack as well. So this is the Swinging Mine Train coaster. Um, I think it's called like Gold Rush or Gold Fever or something like that. But basically it is the same ride type as the Seven Dwarves at the um, Magic Kingdom. So that roller coaster is the same, same concept. But this one is going to be highly interactive with the terrain. But um, instead of like the, the first time I did it with the volcano, I made the volcano first and then built the coaster to fit it. This time I built the coaster and made the terrain fit it. And that's a lot easier to make everything fit together and make sure everything looks how you want it to look. So um, yeah, that's going to be, we, we just finished up pretty much the layout. It's going to go through a little bit of changes, kind of running you through it. You're going to exit the station and go up a, um, a first lift hill, which counts as one of the block zones. And then um, we're going to go kind of a little short middle um, break in lift hills and then it's going to enter the second lift hill which is also another block zone and then at the top of that one the actual ride will pretty much start so um, now if you think about it in terms of storyline the first drop all the way to the second or the mid course break run you should say um, that's kind of looking for that wrecked plane and then um, when you get to the mid course break run you're going to see this wrecked plane and all of this um, fire and stuff going on and then you're basically rescuing the passengers making sure that there's any survivors and anybody that like can be helped we can help them out and then um, once you enter the second lift hill you're basically going back down the mountain and trying get try and get to back to like the safety of the station and like which is like a base camp of some sort so um, that's kind of the theme that I wanted to go with here's a little bit of the layout here um, just mainly banks nothing too intense um, and then I actually had to change the coaster up a little later in the video, you'll see. And it's really no big, um, like, layout change. It's basically a block zone change. So I, I wanted this to be a really high capacity ride. Um, I don't know exactly how, how much people are going to ride this. You know, it is in the very back of the park. And now that we added a spawn zone into the hotel, I'm sure it would get a lot more people than it really would. So um, hopefully that does help out with the actual coaster and like the ridership that it gets, but it's so far away from everything else. I don't know how popular this area is going to be, especially because it's only home to one roller coaster and one ride. So 
Um, that being said, it might be a little hard to um, kind of get things going there. So um, moving on then, we are going to be moving into the terrain. And the terrain, as I said, is basically just um, a weird mountain type thing. Um, there's a weird pause in the video here, a couple seconds. Um, I don't know what that's from. So anyway, this is basically... Um, the train is going to run through the mountain, run through all of these different crevices and ravines and stuff like that. And I really like how it turns out in the end. I think there's some good like head chopper moments. And a big part of this is forced perspective. So um, from like from the plaza of the area, I don't want it to be too noticeable, like that there, there's a huge coaster drop like at the very first lift hill. So instead, the mountain kind of builds up. And the backside is hidden, and also that that reveal scene to the plane is also pretty hidden from um, everybody that's on the main plazas, as well as people on the first segment of the track. Um, it's really only visible when you get there, and then after like the first lift hill. So that's really how I wanted that forced perspective to feel. Um, I will say this coaster was pretty hard to make, it just because like it's a swinging coaster, and that those are already hard to make, and then to make it. Um, Try and make it themed and interactive with the terrain um, just kind of got a little bit difficult there. So we are um, kind of just doing to terrain here. We are going to start moving on to the queue itself and we're actually going to place down the second ride here which will be the flat ride. So um, we're going to move on to that in here in a couple of seconds just kind of fixing up the terrain work and in the next episode we are going to be working on the actual theming for this coaster so we'll go through make all these cue covers, the station, make sure there's a bunch of trees and foliage kind of blocking, kind of completing that forced perspective, you know. And then um, we'll kind of theme up everything else. And I'm thinking if we have time, I'm thinking maybe we'll put like a restaurant back here or something like that, just because like I need something to draw people back. And also there is a long stretch of path that isn't going to be used. It's just kind of going along what we built in the last episode, which was that um, backstage studio tour. So, um, now that we are finally moving on to the second half of the video, I should say, um, this first ride that we're putting in here, well, our flat ride, I should say, um, we are uh, going to use this Aeronauts or the, the balloon, hot air balloon uh, flat ride. Originally, as I said, I wanted it to be a Larson loop, but it just wouldn't work out. And I figured, you know what, this kind of makes sense with the theme that we have for the roller coaster. We're looking for a crash plane, and what bet, what bet, what not better way to go than like in the air and like scan the area. So that's kind of where I was going here, and I did a little bit of terrain work with it as well. It was a little difficult, but I got it nonetheless. And we are at this stage in the video now. Um, it's just a super simple cue, just kind of wrapping around the back, and then it kind of dips back into the main plaza there, which is a circle. So um, here you're seeing a little bit of changes to the coaster. Um, I had to flip the, the, the station side just because of where I wanted the queue to be and all of that stuff. And like most of the other roller coasters in this park, the, the queue is actually going to go over it, which is kind of um, weird, I think. Not a lot of coasters have the queue go over it, maybe under it, but um, that is what we have with that. And um, the exit is actually going to go in between the queue. So this queue is really weird, um, and we're going to pretty much work on the queue for the majority of this, the rest of the video, pretty much. Um, it's going to be probably one of the best queues I've ever made, I'm going to be honest. Um, so first off, you exit, like, the station, and there's a big, there's a staircase, and then it goes back down, and then it's going to be, this region here is going to be, like, on the side of the mountain type thing, and, um, we're going to theme that up to where it's kind of, like, on a cliff face, and then down on the bottom, there's going to be a big straight track that dips, and then a little bit of, um, switchbacks, and then it's going to dip down, underground eventually this is um what we're building right here is a little temporary just because um the pathing is a little weird and it really wasn't working out so um we're actually gonna have an underground portion and then um a couple of more like turns and then we're gonna be done with the queue and then uh, to theme this up as i said we're gonna kind of make a cliff face off of that that um elevated path and then um we're gonna kind of make a little ditch um in the sunken path so um, that's kind of where the padding is going to go. Um, it took a, quite a while to get it to actually do what I wanted. But because um, and I wanted I, like a lot of the cues in this are really long for a reason. Um, in many parks that are like this, 
you're gonna see enormous queues because of the crowd levels that parks like this get. Like if you think about Universal or Disney, they they have crazy long queue lines. But the reason for that is um, that they have the uh, like the ridership for it. The 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 amount of queue space that they use is actually most of it. So and like I was when I opened the park, like just to kind of watch it and see how it runs. Most of the queues, if I allow like a lot of guests into the park, most of the queues get pretty full. So if you think of something like our Ghostbusters queue, which was absolutely enormous, um, it, it actually gets around halfway full when I opened up the park. Now that is assuming that like not every ride is open, so um, that I don't know how that's going to work. But that is actually going to take us to the end of this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was really fun to make, and we'll be back in a couple of weeks to finish off this park. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.